rippy collage or any kind of collage really because this is februlage otherwise known as february collage month so tons of people all over the world are making a collage why shouldn't we today you need paper glue stick scissors an old magazine or perhaps not an old magazine perhaps you have an amazing scrap pile like i have in this room which i'm not going to use in solidarity with you because you might just have a couple magazines and maybe a newspaper at home. So that's all I'm gonna to use today, some uh, magazines. But if you have all kinds of fancy collage papers you wanna get into today, don't let me hold you back. We have a very special guest today, Ms. Samantha Mayhew. But first, shall we play one quick round of what is it? Today's item is mysterious and metallic and bent like so. Mm -hmm. My question for you is, what is it? I don't want you to tell me what it really is. I want you to tell me what in your wildest imagination it is. And I want you to put that into the comments. First, let's see who we've got out there. It looks like I've got my friend Theo out there. Oh, well that's Theo's mom, Chrissy, but this is Theo. How you doing? We got Gabby the Grape, the creator of our intro video. Thank you so much for that, we love it. And we have uh, Mavis and Ray are out there. Hello, nice to see you. Um, so I'd like you to comment now, if you would. What is it? Give me your best guess. Oh, I have somebody named Adelaide out there. I wonder if I already know you, hi. Welcome if you've never been here before. This game, what is it, is just you using your imagination to try to basically really, it's a little bit competitive because you're trying to top what other people are trying to uh, convince us that this could be in another realm. For example, um, let's see, what shall I say? For example, what is this? This is, um, do you know those little, it's not a water slide, but it's like a slalom slide. We get in the little, it's like a luge. This is a luge for red ants, because another way you could kind of kill them with kindness, they say. So instead of killing all the red ants, you could just give them something more fun to do on the other side of your house, like an ant luge. Let's see what other answers we have before we meet our guest today. Um, Theo, below gun, are you talking about this? Like a dart? Always a weapon. Somebody's always got the weapon out there for me. God yeah, bless you. Let's see, who else do I have with a guess? Oh, look, Sam Mayhew. Actually, I had two, I don't play, I don't play hockey. <laughs> we had three votes for a hockey stick. What up, who's this, Lexi Hockey Stick. Um, we have Gabby, the grape, it's a ski pole from Exactly 1706. See if you can hone in on those little details. It's definitely more convincing. I'm thinking that Gabby knows exactly what she's talking about when she says ski pole, because people people have gotten bigger over time. That's why that works. Um, let me see, do we have any more guesses? Are we good? You can chime in with your guess anytime. Adelaide, take a minute, think about it, and you can put that in a comment anytime you want. We do, we got it. She chimed in, hockey stick for a doll. Now we're talking. What about the American girl? Is this the right size for American girls? Or girls from all over the world who are dolls? I don't know. I like it. I like it all. <laughs> Thank you for playing along. Shall we meet our, it was whimsical. Shall we meet our guest? Every week on Our Time Live, we invite an artist to come talk to us. And usually it is a young artist a child, or teen, or tween. Um, but today we have a grown up. Don't be sad. It's a fun grown up. It's a grown up. This is why I invited this grown up because a lot of you know her in one role. You might not know her as an artist. And for teachers, I know a couple of teachers that fit in this category. We are actually artists who teach, but that part kind of gets lost because we're busy teaching you guys when you see us. So I would love to invite Ms. Samantha Mayhew onto the screen. And friends, please feel um, 
please feel comfortable uh, saying hello in the comments or uh, answering or asking any questions in the comments or whatever. Hello, Ms. Mayhew. Hello. Hello. Hi. What should we What should we call you today? Sam, Sam's fine. Sam. Oh, it's sure. very casual. Sure, Even are, are, just for just for right now, your students can call you Sam. They'll be like Sam for like a minute. Okay. <laughs> and um, who is the um the, the small person next to you? This is Maggie. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Maggie. So, what are you guys up to on your? Uh, I would call it a snow day, but we're on vacation, so your family day, let's call it. We've been um, doing laundry today. I have fun. Good um, job, Maggie. Maggie's <laughs> it's not. It's not exactly a family day because all of them are family days. Dad's working. They're yeah. all family days. Probably. I like that answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been um, cleaning my my our area and organizing it a little you bit more today. Switch it. Yeah. Good, good. Have you? Did you know about febrilage? I had heard about it a few weeks ago. I mean, we were just talking it's about true. it before the session. It, it is a thing. I um, you're on the Instagram, yeah. Mm -hmm. I looked at the. I can see you're reading the screen. You're like, hold up, I can't. I'll give you a minute to read it. It's a big thing. And I, I just learned to look at hashtags on Instagram like as something to follow. And I've had the best art in my feed this month. It's all so good. But, but my embarrassing confession is that I haven't done a single collage yet this month. So mm -hmm. today's the day, baby. What's today's theme? Do you know? I don't know. You know who probably knows? Mavis, uh, last week's guest artist, is on. And she has been keeping up with Febrilage pretty well. So maybe she will chime in with an answer for us. Um, but the reason it's not just a coincidence that we have you on during Febrilage, right? Right? I hope not. <laughs> what do you do? You, you do, but you do more than collage though, right? Yeah. yeah. I do a little bit of, sometimes I paint and I draw and collage. This, this, oh, is, oh, not, one. this is not a collage. That is a collage. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. it is. Hi. Yep. Hang on, hang on, let me see that. Well, I like to make critters and animals and things. There's a moose. This one back here, um, here, is of Maggie when she was younger. And that's painting and drawing and colored pencil and mm. cut paper all combined to make one piece of art. Love it. Can I, I'm going to share my screen and show a couple of pieces that you sent me to share. And maybe you could say a little bit about that. That would be nice. Um, I think the first one that we're going to look at. Um, let's see. Tell us about this guy. Oh, yeah. this guy. Oh, that's <laughs> this guy. Um, his name is Rolly. And um, I made him for a friend of mine, actually. Some of the, um, I hope some of the people know who I made them for. It's for Miss Reynolds. And that um, is my uh, assistant principal. She's the assistant principal at, at CAS. Oh, right. And this, is, and this is her dog. And she loves um, gladiola flowers and daffodils. So... Um, she ordered that one, and God, that's that's what that is. But so, see how it's this piece? That's because I did all the pieces and took pictures of them, and then I collaged it together digitally. So I I only have a few of the flowers, and I just made the flowers repeat themselves on the computer with the magic of the computer. The magic of Apple and. Yeah. And oh, Bridget. Anyway, and the, this is Maggie. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> keep chatting. I'm going to share the other one that you sent me. Okay. Um, yeah, you can keep saying hello. We have, uh, by the way, somebody did chime in. I think it was Mavis told us that today's febrilage theme is prison. 
And that is open to interpretation as all of them. People take that in every which direction. Mm. So hmm. ponder that. Yeah. That Great. may or may not influence some Great. artwork today. Bars. So the next um, one that you're going to show, I think, is of Layla Elma Troop. Um, this was a group effort. Um, a few girls that were really good friends with her and I made um, a portrait of Layla and a quote that she had said. Um, and uh, so that also is the her hair and her body is all collage and cut paper and I'm then um, and then her face is uh, done with colored pencil and uh, maybe a little bit of paint but that one's near and dear to our heart. And what did you say when you when you did this one? I'm still trying to get it up on the screen we um we made this last year we started it in 2019 and finished and we sold the we had the um, the artwork turned into posters at um our good our friends at images uh in belfast helped us with getting them on posters and we sold them to be part of a the money went to be uh, part of the scholarship fund for Layla. Um, very nice, very fund. nice. Uh, yeah, That's so excellent. I'm really proud of that work, and I'm really um, proud of the girls who helped me, Sydney Moores, Grace Fitzgerald, and Clara Larrabee, who helped do that too. Did they help? You did all the artwork, or they did some of the artwork as well? They did some of the artwork. Um, I mostly worked on the portrait part of it, um, I have one right here. Wait. <clears throat> Let me just get up for a moment. There it is. You might have seen those around. They're everywhere um, in our, lots of people that knew her have them up in our school building and it's a really nice way to remember her. Um, there we go, I got it, I got it. There it is. So, Maggie. Um, so yeah, the girls help decide, um, what colors and what fonts, all of that lettering should be in. And we worked together to just decide how everything went. And it was really nice. I really like the idea of, you know, that your artwork, your drawing or some other kind of artwork can be part of a collage. Because sometimes you're like, no, I'm just cutting and pasting other people's stuff or other patterns or something. But you can actually do artwork. Like, couldn't you go into a sketchbook and kind of cut out something that was cool that maybe the background was really screwed up or something yeah. and put that in a collage? Like, that seems like, yeah. seems like a great idea. Yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely do that a lot when um, at Troy Howard, we spend a lot of time drawing in the garden. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, I take a lot of my drawings and put the, make them part of my collages or um, I look at them when I'm making new collages. Yeah. Um, and I definitely edit freely because <laughs> you know, when you're just working on an idea, you make mistakes and not all of them you want to be part of another piece of work. I don't make collages. I just make drawings of tacos. <laughs> <laughs> you draw tacos? Just yeah. stick to what you love, love what you do. <laughs> this one was probably an avocado with bare feet. <laughs> Avocados then, are hot this year, you know, this whole year. And then I have a baby taco and a big taco with, with like, legs and socks. Do you, um, Maggie, are you going to do a collage today? Is it... Is it going to end up being an avocado or a taco, or you just don't know until it happens? Might up and might end up being a sloth, maybe. Okay. We have some. I I put out. We have some of our papers that we made one Saturday morning when we were with you. I, nice. So we might, wait, I don't remember. We might make some. Oh, when did I make this one? Oh, Maggie had so much fun. She doesn't even remember. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's like, no, I don't. No. Anyway, um, so let's start doing the project. Now, listen, 
I'm going to just do, I'm going to lead collage one of a, a billion ways to do it that I think is easiest for people at home. But I just want a disclaimer that this is not necessarily, as you could see from her work, this isn't how Sam, we're going to call you, you have scissors. I'm just going to be rippy rippy today. So there's a bazillion ways to do it. People, if you just want to completely freestyle, if you want to body paint while we're doing a collage, I'm not going to stop you. This is your art time. Just stay with us. Do some commenting. Let us know what you're up to. And then Sam, if you guys are going to do collage, can you, do you want to check in with us later maybe? Sounds good. All righty. See you later. All right, people. Let's get that off the screen. Let's get started. You got your stuff. For your, um, for your background, get out of here. You can have anything. I, I eat a lot of cereal, so I have a ton of cereal boxes. Um, so that's what I use when I'm at home, but I had this piece of cardstock. I'm gonna glue stuff onto this, don't matter. Um, and then I have, this is, <laughs> this is from a map book. I love me some maps. People always um, give us, old calendars at Waterfall Arts. I'm gonna use some of those. So my suggestion is, and again, there's a million ways to do this. Flip through, it's super um, distracting. You're gonna end up reading an article about pedicures or something. Try to focus and just look at color and texture. So forget about, oh, this is so, uh, Ben and Jerry's getting out the vote and then there's a band playing. No, this is just warm colors and lights and I'm gonna rip it to pieces. While you're going through your textures and colors, just see if it doesn't spark something for you. Um, like this is reminding me of like a bear color. I'm not gonna overthink it. I just ripped it out, put it aside. Um, and eventually as you keep doing this, like, Forget about flower, because I'm gonna get stuck in a flower thing or trying to turn this into something else. I'm just gonna rip it up. So I have a bunch of yellow. Boom. So let's just go through our books for a minute. I'll get my little uh, hand cam set up. Let me know if you have any idea what you're gonna work on today. Um, because my hands aren't doing too much to see right now. <clears throat> One thing that we're gonna do to take your, um, <clears throat> excuse me, your um, collage to the next level today is a glue, <laughs> a little glue lesson. <clears throat> if you've ever been at Waterfall Arts, you know I am a stickler for quality gluing because some people actually don't like, um, some people don't like collage, mostly I think because their gluing quality has not changed since like kindergarten. So I'm gonna give you a couple of little glue secrets, uh, whether you're using glue stick or white glue. Let me know if you're using glue stick or white glue, that's a good place to start. Oh, my friend Ruben is here, hi Ruben. I miss you. Are you collaging, I wonder? Um, let's see, Ms. Gabby says that she has a lot of colors, so she's doing a bird. That's what I'm talking about. You're flipping through and you're going, oh my gosh, I love these colors, I love these textures. What can I do with them? As usual, I'm gonna fall behind because I'm chit-chatting. You are going to discover that paper has a way that it wants to tear and a direction it does not want to tear. Especially newspaper, but let's see this. See, what? It just kind of went haywire. Isn't that interesting? That's the way it came off of the rollers at the paper factory. So if you're ever tearing and it's just like, ah, it's a total mess, just try to turn in your paper because maybe it wants to rip in another way. That's all. Um, so I'm making some piles of colors here. I'll show you. Here's my little piles. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do. All right, we got one person with a glue stick, so that's you and me. Because if somebody's using just white glue, I'll grab some of that and we can use that together too, if you want. There we go. 
I like to have stuff with words on it too. Kind of is a different kind of texture. Look at this. See, I could get totally distracted by this and I'm gonna save this for another time. This is um, Beijing Opera, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that. But I, I really like this brown texture here. And maybe while you're flipping through your stuff, you find a big old page like my yellow thing that I ripped up. That could that could be your background. I'll just glue on top of that. How about that? The thing that is my favorite here is the thing that's I don't. It's the thing that's most mysterious to me. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I love it. Maybe I'm just going to save it for later. Isn't that cool? It's a map, but it's so colorful. All right. It looks like we got glue stick, glue stick, glue stick. So that's cool. I can get excited about a good glue stick lesson. Listen, different strokes for different folks. Some of you need it just so, and you're going to do a little drawing of your thing. <clears throat> and then you're going to, this is actually my scrap paper. So you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to do a, I have never drawn a bear before. Okay, sure. Bearish. I'm going to draw a bear. And now I'm going to carefully fill it with little bits. Some of you are not gonna draw, you're just gonna start freestyle pasting all your pieces down. I fully support both of those methods. Different strokes for different folks. Let us know in the comment how you go about your process. Can I just say this? I'm gonna go straight, I'm gonna go straight to my real deal so I can show you a gluing trick. Let's say I am gonna do a bear. Which is funny because consciously I'm not that interested in doing a bear, but here we are. <laughs> I'm not going to do a drawing. I'm just going to move stuff around here a little bit. And this is very Eric Carl. You know that guy who um, illustrated The Hungry Caterpillar and a billion other books? He actually makes all of his textured papers uh, with paste paint, paste papers. And then he does a little something like this. Doesn't glue them until the whole thing is just right and then goes back and glues the whole thing. So I'm not even going to try to make a bear shape yet. I'm just going to start gluing this stuff down and see how it goes. Can I show you my glue secret here? All right, get out of here, everything. Here's my scrap. A junky glue job, in, in my mind, is one where the thing's in the right spot, but it's kind of... You know, it's like not flat down. It just feels gross to look at a little bit. So here's my solution. You always put glue on the on the smaller thing, right? So here's my smaller thing that I'm gonna glue on. I'm only gonna put a little bit of glue. If you need a sibling to smack your hand anytime you turn it up too much, that could help you learn your lesson. Just a little bit. And I call this off the edge. Say it with me, folks. Put it down in the middle, off the edge, off the edge, off the edge, off the edge. Why? What happens if I do this? Dirt, 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 dirt. You can predict that. You're gonna get all kinds of glue crammed under there. Then that's a sticky mess, it's disgusting. So we start in the middle, push it off the edge, push it off the edge, push. And so we're going in one direction, every single millimeter of our paper edge has glue on it. Man, the difference it's gonna make. Hey, guess what? Don't use this again. It's a gluey mess. Look at it. You're gonna put your next clean piece of paper on there? No. Okay, here we go. Put it down. And now I'm gonna be a real professional. I'm gonna put another piece of paper on top and burnish. Burnishing. Are you ready for satisfaction? Oh, yes. Look at that. It looks like it's printed on this paper. All right, try it off the edge. 
I think you're gonna like what it does for your collage. Um, I do suggest for some of you, if you're, if it's already a stretch for you to not do a drawing, that you just get everything the way you like it and then start gluing. Oh, a leg just happened, it's a happy accident. Can you see how hard it is to screw this up? Because you can constantly just keep making little changes, making little changes, put more stuff on. I love that. This is actually reminding me of the prison theme that I'm gonna focus on. Maybe it's a prison bear. It's a fun theme, prison bears. Um, how are you guys doing? You all have glue sticks? That's cool. Listen, if you would like to be my guest artist next week, just let me know. You can let me know in the comments or um, you could let me know on Instagram. You can message me at Waterfall Bridge or you could uh, drop me an email at Waterfall Arts, Bridget at waterfallarts.org. Whatever you want, we'll figure it out and we'll bring you on screen with me next week. I already know what our activity is next week. It's so cool. But all you're going to need is scissors and paper. That's not snowflakes. Forget I said that because now you're all going, eh, snowflakes, but it's, oh, scissors, paper, and tape. So stay tuned to that. But you don't have to love those things to be my guest next week. Any old fool can be my guest next week. All right, people, let's see what you're working on. And in a little bit, we will check in with, oh my gosh, look, this kind of looks like a top of a bear head. What a coincidence. So you, whoop, Matros using a new scrap. There we go. Y'all know collagers in your life. You know Ms. Mayhew, collagist. You know um, Eric Carl. Who else is a glue crazy artist that you know and love? Maybe if you're one of my Instagram peeps, you will check out um, some hashtag Febrilage tonight and get inspired. That work is amazing. And, and the reason why I love things like an international collage month or drawing month is you see that people, you know, there's no rules to collage. So there's people that are sewing their paper. There's people that have it 3D and there are parts hanging off and you got to check it out. It's awesome. I love doing 3D work, but I'm gonna go flat. Look at, I didn't even wanna do a bear and it's just happening by itself. Oh my gosh. All right, off the edge, off the edge. Don't make me come over there, people. I think I got my friend Taylor out there. Let me look through my comments again. Taylor, are you out there watching us today? That would make me so happy. I think I got Lexi, I think I got Theo. What a nice crowd. If you're out there and you haven't said hi yet, don't be shy, say hi. Oh, Barry. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that I just mentioned it, but again, I always love to see your artwork. So, when you're done, you can send it to me in any of those ways that we just talked about. If you're itching to get on my screen right now, you could say so in the comments and I can send you a link and you can jump on. Whatever you're up for, I just want us all to inspire each other as much as possible, you know what I mean? Some of y'all are making art every day this week, aren't you? Vacation means art retreat. Some of you got some brush pens that you barely have used since you got them for Christmas or whatever. I don't love that line. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go over it. Um, Ms. Mayhew and Maggie, if you're out there, I'd love to see what you guys started working on. 
come back and see us if you can. Mm -hmm. Oh, Taylor, you are here. I'm so glad. How you doing, buddy? Are you collaging? Do you have a young sibling that is also trying to get in on your collage? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm liking this. It's weird to be working over to the side, but I'm doing a great job. I might be in the home stretch. I really like what um, Sam was doing by adding in some parts of other drawings that she did and paintings. Like I'm thinking some kind of a water, if I cut this out and I put it on a watercolor background, that could be really cool. And I see I have a bunch of um, the reactions that are coming up on the, on the screen from my live watchers. I have a number of angry faces. <laughs> I do wish I knew what that was about. Um, drop me a comment let me know why are you so angry why so angry all right i'm gonna bring uh ms mayhew back to town here how are we doing maggie what are you making you said the theme was jail whoa it was prison so I, yeah so i have prison so i have jail bars Starting with air, I have, I'm starting to make an elephant. Why is it an elephant? I don't know why. When I went to go get um, some paper, I had this one, one thing, this shape was yeah. just hanging out. And I was like, that looks like an ear. So I started making an elephant. Is that how your other animal, well, I know that that one, somebody requested that you do their dog, but do you ever just start with a scrap and you're like, oh my gosh, this is already turning into a thing? Um, I wish like I, my bear. <laughs> I wish I could say yes, but not really. <laughs> Are you more of a planner? Do you plan out your work usually? Uh, I don't like to plan that much, but I definitely go into it with an idea. Yeah. And then it sort of like morphs after that. Yeah. But yeah, I don't really like to be meticulous about this is going to go here and then this is going to, I don't like, I, I don't do that. Yeah. But. Can I ask you a question? What do you, the, the kids in Bridge right now are working on a video series about like the concept of mistakes in art and trying to kind of unteach that to people who feel like, oh, they've screwed up their artwork and now they did it wrong. What do you What's like your most go-to strategy for when you're working on a painting or whatever and you screw up, or as I say, the unexpected happens? What do you do with that? Um, I try to th uh, think about how I could change it in a way that, that would make it better. Um, I try not to start over. Uh, sometimes though, you, you just need to, yeah. because cause you're mad you made the mistake or you can't quite get over it. And, <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes like you, you just might need to start over, yeah. but, um, I sort of try to get kids to, um, or people because I teach adults sometimes too. Yeah. And they're like, I hate it. I hate the way it looks. And they'll be so, adults are even really worse than. They're worse, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, I try to just get them to keep going. And yeah. I maybe I just say, well, maybe it's just at the awkward stage right now. And just keep going. <laughs> See what happens. Yeah. Grownups are so rigid. I find yeah. they just kind of hit a wall and go, nope, I'm done. This is terrible. And I always tell my kids, like, you don't want to end up like that. Yeah. Like, you stay flexible because. And then, and then you know, it, that, that piece of, there's always another piece of art to make. There's yeah. always more to make. So the mistake, um, you learn something in it and it's not the end. So yeah. it's only the beginning. Yeah. Just keep going. The beginning of something else. Um, Maggie, what about you? Are you the type of artist, do you usually have a plan or do you just sit down with the stuff and you just start going for it? Both. Yeah. What happened with the stripes? Were you like, oh, prison, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do stripes or it just kind of started happening that way? 
It just started. It just popped into my head, kind of. Yeah. Just that's that's what I always think of when I hear like prison or something. Stripes, yeah. I think of Azkaban, kind of. Mm. Harry Potter. Oh, Azkaban. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> my Harry Potter translator. Huh? Harry Potter. I get that all the time. I don't. I never read it. I didn't read any of them. I know. You should listen to the books on tape, on CD or audiobook or something. That's the way to do it. I've, I've kind of decided that the only thing I'm going to listen to, uh, my only book on tape forever, is going to be David Sedaris. That's it. I just, He's just that. Maybe, maybe you would like to read to me. You can call me and read some Harry Potter to me. That would be kind of nice. Friday night. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> What could be more fun? I don't know. All right. Thank you so much for checking back in with us. And thanks for being our guest this week. Everybody who's out there, put down your sticky fingers and uh, say a, a greeting, a hello, a thank you to Sam, because they're going to keep watching with us until we finish up. Nice to see you, Maggie. Hope to see you again soon. See you guys later. Bye, everybody. Well, wasn't that special? I think that was cool to get to see that elephant coming together. I'm wondering if she drew that shape or if she freestyle, freestyle cut it. I do like to freestyle with my scissors. Gabby says, thank you ever so much. As do Mavis and Ray, that was really fun. Can't wait to see who's gonna join us next week. I'm psyched. Friends, of course, my bear didn't go anywhere in the last little while. We need a little bear butt on there. Um, so keep working on your stuff, shall you? And promise me that you will send me what you end up creating. I would love that. Oh, but real quick, I think this is Lexi that has to chime in. I shouldn't have mentioned, I shouldn't have asked, oh, Harry Potter, what? Because this could go on a whole other hour digression on Harry Potter. Get a chat room, people. I'm ready to wrap up our time live. <laughs> you all can take it in the comments. You just keep chit-chatting in the comments if you want. Um, thank you so much for being here. I will see you next week, same time, four o'clock. Keep your eyes open on our Facebook page and on Instagram to see what the really cool activity is. And I will see you then. Boom. <laughs>